and there's a man who's known the highs and the lows of this sport Justin Gatlin 30 years old now he goes in lane six starts his favorite Dwight after excuse me Adam <laughs> yeah I think he does although uh, he looked very good in the first round 651 didn't look quite as good Chuck Kim is getting the better of him in the semifinal but as you said this is a young man who knows how to compete the former Olympic 100 meter champion former world champion of both 100 and 200 meters now coached by one of my former rivals Dennis Mitchell in Gainesville, Florida. Well, chance to look at that full field now. Dixon, Norman, Newman, Kimmons, and then Gatlin, Gray, and Cherry. Lane five saw Phil de Rosier pulling out just a, a little while ago. This is Justin Gatlin's first indoor campaign since 2003. He lost on fire in Fayetteville two weeks ago to the world number one, the Jamaican Lerone Clark, but he is in good form, as we know. Finished a second to Joel Crim Crimmins in his semi final, 6.57. There is Kimmons. In that orange top, one is semi in 6.53.
That is his uh, PR as well for the 26-year-old from Raymond in Mississippi. And the way he starts, he's a threat in any 60-meter race. Gives a shoulder a kiss for good luck. And with the empty lane in between them, Gatlin and Kimmins face off against the rest of this U.S. men's 60 final. So the field split by that empty lane. Reggie Dixon in one, Josh Norman in two, Kalesion Newman in three, Trell Kimmins in four in the orange notes left of picture. And then Gatlin in the red and black, third from right in six, Cordero Gray in seven, D'Angelo Cherry in eight. Good start there from Kimmins, really good start. Gatlin's got some chasing to do at the moment. Gatlin coming through, but Kimmins in the lead at the moment. Kimmins going to take it by a short head. Gatlin was coming back at him, but ran out of track. And that's Six the fastest 45. time in the world. Both of them now with the first and equal second fastest time. So finally, this surface and the altitude, that's a huge personal best for Trail Kimmins. And both of them will head to the World Indoor Championships as co-favorites. That was some spectacular running by the two young Americans. Take us through it, Otto. There's Kimmins and Gatlin, center of the track. And I talked about Kimmins and how well he starts, but it's not just about reaction time. It's about where you are and how you're pushing in terms of your angles. Gatlin and Kimmins are two of the best. And look now, as they begin to come up to upright running, they are patient and going from down to up. No big transitions. And it really just was the lead of the tape that got Trail Kimmins his first U.S. indoor title, as well as a big new personal best. And Tim, once you start talking about 6-4 mid, you can start talk talking about 9-8 outdoors in the 100 meters. This is masterful running from both the Americans. Well, that makes uh, Kimmins the fourth fastest equal American ever over 60 meters. Both guys are down with Lewis. All right, Tim, thanks. Well, Drell, you've got a chance to look at those replays. What did you see in yourself as you ran to that U.S. Indoor National Championship? I know any time running against people like Gatlin, I have to stay patient in my drive. So I will focus on staying low, driving, and working my transition. And your thoughts on coming out here and, and winning your first indoor championships headed to the World Indoor Championships? It's a blessing. You know, this is what I've been, I've been aiming for for about two or three years. It's just a blessing to uh, make a team in PR. And Justin, you made one of your first big splashes as a sprinter at the 2003 World Indoor Championships. Going back for more? This is my second indoor championship in almost a decade. Um, it feels good. Um, the, the top three guys before us, before this race, was all Jamaicans. The Americans on top again. All right, gentlemen, we'll see you in Istanbul. Good luck. USA against Jamaica, that's the way it'll probably be in London in a few months' time. But a great run there from Kim and Justin Gatlin close up behind. Let's take a look at that race from ahead on. And maybe was it just the start that made the difference? Two 100s. Yeah, I think just a superior reaction time and then a patience that, quite frankly, he has not shown before. Got Kim as his first indoor title. You kids looking at home, that's not two bad people to copy in terms of form in a 60-meter dash. Well, two very happy gentlemen producing quick, quick sprinting here with the altitude assisting them through those times, 6.45 and 6.47 for Kimmins and uh, the man in second.